Hi and welcome to Le Studio Marco Primo. Today we're going to check how to reuse a fusion assembly in DaVinci Resolve if you need that fusion uh, setup to be done multiple times in your project. So let's dive in. So I've done a video of my drum set showing the microphones that I use and I thought it would be a good idea to uh, make a, some animation showing the name of each microphone. So I found a very good tutorial from JRTV. Uh, I'm going to link it in the description. And I've done this animation and was pretty happy with it. But then I realized I needed to do it multiple times in my project. And I didn't know how at first, just tried to do some copy and paste and realize some very interesting things that I will show you in this video. So let's go to the computer right away. All right, if you want to reuse some fusion assembly that you did, um, there's a few steps that you should be aware of. Of course, if it's just an, an image or a cut in the image to let something else pass through, it will be very easy. But as you've seen in those images, uh, there's some uh, animation going on and there's some tracking. So it's a bit more complicated and if the length of uh, the part that you want to animate is different too. You need to change stuff to make it work. So that's what we're doing now. So let's check in Fusion what has been done and you'll see the complexity and the time that is put in doing such uh, animation. And of course, that's the reason why you want to reuse it if you need it in your clip instead of redoing it from scratch every time. So let's check in Fusion. So as you can see, there's a dot, the ellipse right here. After that, there's a mask a paint, which draws a line. And of course I assign the background to um, different color. And after that, some text like this. And if we check the merge, you see here the dot and the lines. And after that, with the text. Okay. So this is very easy to copy from a project to another one. The only thing you need to be careful about is the animation. Because if I play, there's nothing at the beginning. And it just right down and then goes out. Okay, so the start and the movement will be something to check along the way. Um, and of course, I did add a tracker, so it will follow a microphone. This is uh, some images of uh, my drum set, and I wanted to show which microphone I use. Um, so here is the input media, and this is the output media. And our tracker is here, so it's checking the image of uh, the media to be tracked. And after that, once the tracking data are done, I linked them to the, mer the last merge right here. So it goes to tracker one, tracked center. So if uh, the tracker moves, then the all composition will move as well. And this is going to the output. So let's uh, see it again. So if you want to reuse this to another part of the, your video, uh, you can select everything but the input and the output, then right click and select copy, or you can use your keyboard control C 
and then you're going to uh, go back to edit and choose another part of your video. So let's uh, play and see what part we can use. Okay, this microphone here. Okay, so the start can be maybe here. Control B to make a cut. And then the end could be here when uh, the focus is lost. So Control B again. Now to take this section into a Fusion Clip, you right click and you say New Fusion Clip and it will convert this part to a Fusion uh, format. Why am I cutting and uh, doing only this little part? Um, the reason is easy. Uh, in Fusion, you will see only that part of the video and the frames uh, accordingly. And if you were to do it on the old video, uh, there's a, a few minutes there, it will be very hard to work on. So right click and go to open in the Fusion page. So that's what you're seeing, the input and the output. So we're going to put them down and we can right click and choose paste an instance like this. So we're going to relocate it in the middle. It's going to be easier to work on like this. Oh, maybe further up. All right. Now we still have our information, the ellipse. Okay, you see, uh, everything is there. And if I hit play, oops, let's uh, let's choose the the output media. You'll see there's nothing. If I take this last merge, and if I hit play. We don't see anything. If I take this merge, let's see. Yes, okay. So we see our animation, but of course there's no tracking. So that's one thing we need to check. Um, so we're gonna link our media input to the tracker so it can see the image. And then we're gonna link it um, to the merge as well and the output of the merge to the media output. So you'll see on the image here, our animation is there. It's moving, but it's moving with the tracker data from our copied version. So we need to change the tracking data. So click on the tracker, add a new tracker, the, the name will change. You can rename them if you want. And after that, I'm going to delete the one that was there. So we have our tracking window. So the part that I want to track is here. Maybe a bit larger. Like this. We're going to go to the start. It's going to be easier. Like this. And of course, every time you put your animation somewhere else, you will need to redo the tracking uh, if you track a different object, very normal, of course. And uh, you can click here so it will track forward. All right. Now, if, if I hit play again, you'll see that my animation does not move. Okay, it's not following the tracker yet. So what you need to do is reselect the tracker and the merge to, to tell the merge to follow the tracker. And you go on the merge. And if it's not there, uh, this uh, information, you right click on center and you go, oh, let's do it. You right click on center, you say expression, and then you take the plus here and you drag it to the tracker and to the information that we need to uh, be tracked like this. Okay, so if we hit play again, it 
Now it's following. Of course, you can go to the spline and check the tracker's data. And if you see that it is moving too fast at some point, you can remove some, uh, some points. Um, and if you want to zoom in, you click up, up there and you drag, click and drag. Same thing here, click and drag. Okay, you see that those points maybe uh, could be removed and be uh, more a straight line maybe. So let's uh, let's check it again. Not bad. Now, if the clip length is not the same as the original one, this could be a problem, especially if where you paste your uh, fusion assembly is shorter than the first one that you copied. So what you need to do is go into the keyframes and you'll see your keyframes here. Uh, we're going to remove this plane. And again, uh, you can zoom in. So what you can do to keep your animation intact is to change only uh, the end of the animation. So if I want, I, you can explode this part and say, okay, whoops. And so, okay, those two will be done later or uh, sooner in the project. Okay, same thing with your text, the start and the finish. So you can align them that way. Okay, you select and you just move them away. So the, the animation will be done at a different time. Let's play. Okay, pretty nice. Now let's go back to the edit page. And if we play before and this part let's uh, let's zoom all right one last thing i didn't do is change of course the text because it's a different microphone so i'm going to go back in fusion and this I don't really need any more keyframe. We're going to go to the text. And this one is a sure SM81. All right, let's go to edit page again. As simple as that. All right. So you can save time that way. In this project, I needed uh, to reuse my animations many times. So that's why I researched a bit the best way to do it. And this is why this video has been made. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please click on the like button, consider subscribing, hit the bell to get notifications. And of course, go in the descriptions. There's a link for some merch if you want to help the channel. Um, and also put questions and comments in the comments, <laughs> suggestions for new video as well. And if you want to help the channel, click away on many videos and share those videos. It's always a great help.